cars. We heard the sputter, spit, sputter, and I took off and around the front and found a clearing as close as I could and just pushed my way through. I was the first one on the scene oh. and called the cops and I came out and showed them a pathway off of New York that they could make in that was easier traveling on foot. I guess this is the first time you experienced something like this? No, so I was um, at the YMCA when that plane went down and hit Publix several years ago. You said you got as close as you can get. How close would you say you got to the plane? Probably about 10 foot before I couldn't take any more. So, it, so but when you got there, it was on fire then? It was, uh, it was starting. It was starting when I came around the, when I came through the, po the trees and the flames were getting higher and it had already consumed like the cockpit area. By the time I realized that the back of the plane was broke, and there was a possibility of being able to get in through that way. And that's when it, the wind caught it up enough that and it started doing fully engulfed. An officer told me to get out of the way. I saw their two open spaces in the flames. I had one restless night, but I'm working through it. I, I'm walking my way through it. The only reason why it hurt this time, it hurt so much this time, is because there wasn't able to help actually get there and yeah, do something, get there to see something other than get the the authorities there other than that I'm, i feel i was useless so and it does bother me